Hi, today we're going to work on lesson 11-7 in the math book. It starts on page 647, and it is working with the adding and taking away of tens with word problems this time. So here we have on page 647, Val picks 40 strawberries. She shares 20 of them with her brother. How many strawberries did Val keep for herself? How can modeling your thinking help you solve this problem? So I have base 10 blocks. So I could use my blocks to say 10, 20, 30, 40. So there's the strawberry she picked. She gave 20 of them to her brother. So we're going to take away 20. And how many are left? 20. So 40 take away 20 equals 20. Now you don't have base 10 blocks, so you could draw 10, 20, 30, 40, and then we can just cross off 10, 20. Those are the 20 she's giving to her brother. How many are left? 10, 20. So we can draw pictures to represent the story. On the top of page 648, it says, Nate has 70 green apples. He has 30 red apples. How many more green apples does Nate have than red ones? How can I model this problem? I can use pictures, objects, and equations to show and solve this problem. Then I can decide if my model makes sense. I will draw a picture and write an equation. So here we have the 70 green apples, and then right next to it we have the 30 red apples, and they want to know how many more. They want to know what is this group right here. So we take the 70, we subtract the 30 that overlap, and how many are left over? 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 7 tens minus 3 tens equals 4 tens. Nate has 40 green apples. All right, so now over here, number one says a store has 60 muffins. It sells 30 of the muffins. How many muffins does a store have now? So they drew uh, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. They crossed off 30 because they sold them. 10, 20, 30. How many are left? 30 muffins. All right, Andy has 84 baseball cards. So I'm going to draw 84. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then I'm going to use little X's for my ones. 81, 82, 83, 84. He gives away 10 cards. So this 10 right here, he's going to get rid of. How many cards does Andy have now? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 4. So he now has 74 baseball cards. All right. On page 649, you have three word problems. Please go ahead and solve these three word problems. Turn the video back on, and we will check your answer. All right. Hopefully you have found your answers to these. It says, Viola has 80 stickers. Dean has 60 stickers. How many more stickers does Viola have than Dean? So this time I'm going to draw the squares, and I need eight of them because each one's going to be worth 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And next to it, I'm going to draw 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How many more? So see, these all overlap, huh? So these are the extras. How many extras? 10, 20. So 20 more stickers. So 80 minus those 60 give us 20. Carla has a book with 50 pages. She reads 20 pages. How many pages does she have left to read? So here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. She reads 20 of them. 10, 20. How many pages does she have left? 10, 20, 30. Number five, a store has 72 toy cars. So I'm going to use my base 10 blocks here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 
71, 72. Okay, see how I drew those? It sells 10 cars, so one of these sticks goes away. How many cars does the store have left? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, two. So there are 62 cars left. All right, turn the page over to 650. And it tells us, James, Emily, and Simon walk dogs after school. On Monday, they have 40 dogs to walk. James and Emily take 20 of the dogs for a walk. How many dogs are left to walk? So what problem do you need to solve? They had 40 dogs. They walked 20 of them, so 20 of them are done. How many are left? What tool or tools can you use to solve this problem? Well, we could use base 10 blocks. We could also draw pictures to solve this problem. Okay, now it says write an equation to show the problem. Then use pictures, words, or symbols to solve. So the equation is 40 minus 20. And now if we use our blocks, we have 40, take away 20, we're left with 20. If we draw a picture, we could say 10, 20, 30, 40, and cross off the 20, that leaves us the 20 others. All right? All right, now it is time for you to do the homework page, page 651 and 652. When you're done, come back and we will check your answers. All right, the top of page 651 just reviews what we were just doing, that you can draw pictures um, to solve the problem. You can write the equation. Okay, so number one says use drawings, models, or equations to solve. Show your work. So John puts 40 songs on a playlist, 10, 20, 30, 40. He takes 10 songs off. Take that one off. How many songs are still on the playlist? 10, 20, 30. So 40 minus the 10 he took off, we have 30 left. Tammy sees 24 ants. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 10 ants go into an ant hill. So these 10 go away. How many ants are left? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 24 minus 10 equals 14. All right. Jack puts 80 socks in a basket. He sorts 50 socks into one pile. How many socks does he still need to sort? All right, what tools or tool would you use to solve this problem? I would draw a picture. Draw a picture. Now over here it says draw a picture and write the equation. So I have 80 socks, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. He sorts 50 socks into a pile, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. How many does he still need to solve? So he started with 80, took away the 50, he still has 10, 20, 30 left to go. Now, how can you check that your answer makes sense? Well, if your answer is bigger than the number of socks he has, that wouldn't make sense, right? And if it's a normal number, if it looks like, okay, it makes sense. Eight, take away five. We can look at the tens and subtract that. Eight, take away five equals three. So does that make sense? Yes, it does. So you wanna make sure that the number makes sense with the problem that you're solving. All right, please take a picture of this and send it to your teacher and have a wonderful day.